always make sure before you start doing anything with your flow experiment and setup is that you go ahead and take a look at your cells to make sure that they're, they look good and everything's fine. So one of the first things you need to have ready before you even start any uh, flow experiment is you need to go ahead and have all your uh, equipment sterilized and in this part we have the reservoir and tubing and some petri dishes autoclaved. You also need to have your uh, media that you're going to use in your experiment to be pre-warmed in 37 degree water bath. So what we'll also do is store like a pulse dampener if we're going to decide to use one in ethanol and we'll have that stored for uh, days before the experiment just to keep it disinfected and try to keep any contamination out of the pulse dampener. And uh, an hour or so before the experiment we'll also uh, try to disinfect the flow chamber as well as the gasket by soaking it in 100% ethanol. So just go ahead and drain out the ethanol from the pulse dampener and then put it in the hood. So what I'm going to do now that I have the pulse dampener out, there's still probably a little bit of ethanol in the pulse dampener, so I'm going to use some DPVS to rinse out uh, the leftover ethanol. Now we're just going to take uh, the tubing out of the autoclave bag, the reservoir, and uh, attach it to the pulse dampener. get the media now to put into the uh, reservoir. So we have the media in the reservoir now and uh, we want to make sure that our tubing is well in the media so that it can pump the media out without just sucking uh, out air and uh, we have an extra tubing here so that we can take samples from the reservoir for uh, nitric oxide analysis. So this is our uh, modular drive uh, control for the pump uh, the important thing to make sure is that you have the correct size selected. Uh, we're using 16 tubing, so we have that selected here. And you have the correct direction of the uh, pump. Um, and then you're ready to start. All right, so we've added the, uh, the flow setup into the incubator. Um, go ahead and put your tubing in the uh, pump head and close the pump head down. Make sure that the tubing is somewhat pinched a little bit right here so that it doesn't move inside of the pump, but don't pinch it too much to where it can't uh, produce a fluid motion. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll tape these tubing straight up and down. This is where we'll end up putting the flow uh, chamber. So now we're going to go ahead and turn on the pump so that it pumps the fluid out through the pump and into the pulse dampener to fill up the pulse dampener. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the uh, pulse dampener uh, with about 60 mils or so of uh, media. So go ahead and let the pump run. Make sure you get any air bubbles out of the uh, tubing and go ahead and place like a chem wipe or something here. Uh, to clean up uh, or catch any uh, media spillage when you actually assemble the chamber. So we'll leave this here and go get the chamber ready now. So we'll go ahead and take the flow chamber out of the ethanol.
Okay, we'll let it sit there for a few minutes so the ethanol can evaporate before we use it. So the most important part is assembling the flow chamber. And your goal with assembling the flow chamber is uh, basically to make sure you have no air bubbles in the flow chamber when you assemble it. So here's our slide that we're going to use with the cells. Place it into the chamber. And then what you want to do is always take a look at it to make sure that it's sitting evenly and flat on the, uh, in the chamber. Then we want to add our gasket. You can buy the gaskets at different sizes so that you can vary the height of your chamber. This one's .015 inches and you can buy them uh, at point zero zero five zero one zero one five zero two zero three and so forth now that the gaskets on there we need to go ahead and quickly add some media to the top of the cells you want to do all this somewhat fast so that your cells don't dry out. So you notice that I'm not adding the media directly to the top surface of the cells. I'm adding about four mils. That's more than enough. And now we're ready to add the chamber, the top part of the chamber. So you can, what you want to do is you want to get it ready and quickly go from one side to the next or kind of quickly push it all down and hold it down while you add a few of the wing nuts. And just finish adding the wing nuts and you're ready to go. Always measure the height in the flow chamber, just because that gasket could have been compressed a little bit, and it'll, and it'll change day to day, maybe 20 microns. So all I'm going to do is focus the microscope on some scratches on the top surface um, of the uh, flow chamber, and then I'm going to go down and focus it on the cells and see how many tick marks we move, and then multiply that by, in this case, 1.33, which is the uh, um, index of refraction of the media inside there to get the uh, height in microns. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and turn off the pump. And when you turn off the pump, there's still going to be some fluid movement because the air is compressed in here, so you just have to wait a little while. Because you don't want any fluid moving. Make sure you have no air bubbles in your tubing here. And when you take this apart, go ahead and pinch the tubing so the fluid remains right there at the edge of the tubing and add it to the flow chamber on the inlet and then add it on the exit on the outlet. Alright.